even if we are in the middle. Yes, anyone's brother or sister can join in if you want. Don't worry about that. We're going to start off with some with Angry Cat. We're going to start with hip, hip drops again. Like I showed you the other day. So actually start with Superman. I'm going to walk from that position. Uh, make sure you've got enough room. Make sure, guys, as well, you've got a mat. So something to protect your knees. Doesn't have to be a mat. It can be a blanket folded up or a cushion, whatever you're happy with. Let me know if you, if you need amendments in the chat. So Superman in three, two, one, go. Hands and knees. One foot back. Opposite hand forward. But concentrate on keeping your lower back flat. Remember, your knees have got to go on the floor here because this is just part of the warm-up. Well, remember, Sophie, if you want to have a bit of extra mobility, hand over your head and then bring it back the long way, so behind your body. Okay. Relax, so bring your knees down to the floor. Okay, guys, it's a warm-up, so make sure your knees go on the floor for that one. There's a couple of you doing it as a plank. From that position, put your hips in front of your knees and then drop your hips down to the floor, side to side. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, that's it, Dylan. Nice one. So, Yash, move your knees back a bit further. So, your knees need to be behind your hips. Yep, Barnaby, that's it. Maybe a bit more knee bend and hip bend. Like that. So if your knees are too far forward, it won't work. If they're too far back, you'll just be lying on the floor. Okay. Then relax, dorsal press into sit back next. Three, two, one, go. Curl up. But tuck your chin down so you're looking at the floor. You're going to really try and get your head curled up this way. And stop. Then Spider-Man lunge and rotate. So press the plank position. One leg forward. Rotate. And, up and switch over. Three, two, one, go. So one on each side and then just keep alternating. Put your back knee on the floor. So you can focus more on rotating and stretching with a straight back. Okay, good job. Okay, cool. Keep going a little bit more. Make sure you look with your hand when you rotate. Okay, then stop there. Stand up and we'll go walk out. Three, two, one, go. So stand up and streamline, walk out, walk yourself back, walk your hands back towards your feet. Try and keep your legs straight all the way through. So if you imagine you haven't got any knees, so even when you stand up, to here try not to bend them the straight straighter that you keep your legs the more you're going to feel it good good don't have to worry about downward dogs today stop okay then bit of bean game remember if you 
can't do anything because of your certain movements because of your knee, then just stay down in press a plank position. So start with, oh, do each one three times. So everyone has a chance to catch up. You're going to start with um, jelly bean. In three, two, one, go. So three times on each side. Then do star jumps in between each exercise. Okay, then beans on toast. So go down, stand up, go down, stand up. Charlotte, if you can come up with what with what a butter bean would look like and tell me, we can fit it in. Then you're on string bean. Good, high as you can. Then rolling bean. So roll to one side, roll to the other one, so you're not lopsided. Then you're gonna go into broad bean and baked bean. So drop down low, curl up small. Okay, good shapes people, very good shapes. Then relax, finish that one off, grab a drink. Okay, just gonna remind everyone of what Mr. Bean is. Because we can do that one in this round. So Mr. Bean, skipping on the spot. And kick your leg out in front of you. Keep it nice and straight. So we'll go. Three, two, one, go. See, split bean. So two splits on each side. So one foot forward, one foot back. Then baked bean, three more of those. Good, then Mr. Bean. So like can, can, kick your legs up nice and straight. Good skip there, Scarlet. Okay, into jumping bean. So remember, big star jump into the sky. Land each one if you have to. Remember, if you need to, don't do the jump. Then runner bean. So knees up, knees up. Then drop into broad bean. Good. Remember, if you've got busted toes or ankles or knees, don't do the running and jumping bits. Relax. Good. So equipment-wise, you're going to start today with a bit of core strength. So reverse crunch, rotation plank, frog stand. So I'm just going to get all of you to watch me so I can go over how to start a frog stand if you don't know. So start at the bottom of a squat like this. So hands on the floor and start to grab the floor with your hands like this to stay stable. Tip forward and then start trying to take your feet off the floor one at a time. And just practice holding that position for as long as you can. Make sure you've got a cushion. If you don't feel confident, have a cushion or some books you can prop your head on, but try and hold that inverse position as best you can with a straight back. Now we're doing it for a minute. I don't expect you to hold the entire thing for one minute. You're just going to spend that time practicing. So try and do three seconds. If you can manage three, try and build your way up slowly to 10, and then we'll see how we do. Then Spider-Man press up. Remember, if you start in Superman position and then alternate between, see so you'll go kind of like bear crawl, do a push up, walk it back, march forward, press up, go back. So a bit more time explaining, but hopefully all the movements will make more sense now. So reverse crunch on the floor. Remember, kick your feet straight up towards the ceiling and come down slowly. Ready to go in three, two, one, go.
to remember, toes right up vertical so you shouldn't see your feet coming past your face so if you've got something you can hook your hands under it makes it easier to control when you come down okay so if i show you from here It's a lot slower than if I didn't have my hands under the couch. Nancy, that is nails. Well done. 15 seconds. Sophie, really good tempo there as well. Sophia, great job. So aim your feet right up. Try and get your toes on the ceiling. Two, one, stop. Into rotation plank. So sore shoulders, do hollow hold, so lie on your back. Three, two, one, go. Rotation, so this position, try and go six seconds. If there's two of you, see who can go the slowest. Remember, if you've got a sore shoulder, then just do hollow hold. Molly, great speed there. Well done. Oh, wow. There's some intense competition going on with all the duos. Just slow to the side and then slow back down as well. So remember, once you're on your side, you want to try and come back slowly as well. It's no good being slow out and then quick on the way in. A couple of seconds left. You actually think your camera's frozen. That's super slow. And then stop. Great. Frog stand. So this will be interesting. Some of you know it. Some of you don't. Just do your best and try and I'll coach you through it. Three, two, one, go. So most of you have seen me practicing these before. So curl up like the bottom of a squat. If you've got shoulder ish issues, just do some lat stretching during this minute. If you can do handstands, push yourself into those. So we have a frog stand. Squat down, hands on the floor. Start to slowly tip yourself forward. Stick your hips in the air and try and take your feet off the floor. Twenty seconds left. Try and see if you can hold it for three seconds, and if you can, then relax. <laughs> Very nice. Sophia could have kicked up into a handstand there. Three, two, one. Relax. Good attempts. So remember, something's cushioning your head if you think you need it. If you've got a shoulder injury, just spend the time doing chest and lat stretches. Spider-Man press-ups. In three, two, one, go. Okay, cool. That's it. Well, remember, guys, so start from your Superman position and then walk out into each Spider-Man press-up. If I put this on the floor. So you don't want, you're not doing a Spider-Man lunge with your foot all the way forward. You bring your foot to the side and then go down to the ground. couple of seconds left and stop okay back to the beginning so if you struggle because of your shoulder at the minute then pick a core exercise or do lat and shoulder stretches reverse crunch in three two one go okay good speed sphere well done so a few questions. 
Okay, cheers for the update, Danny. Okay, Francesca, super impressive pace there. Try and come down to the ground slowly. And just control your body weight. Okay, Spider-Man. Just make sure you get your hips up. It's a little bit, uh, oh my gosh, Liberty. Try and get you, yeah, perfect. That's it. I think I just watched it at the, at the uh, wrong time there. Okay. Good work, Cara. So push your hands into the floor as much as you have to to get more stable. Leon, love the backdrop. Okay, interesting. Relax. There, rotation plank or hollow hold. So, three, two, one, go. Okay, that's completely fine. I'll give you one. So, rotation plank or hollow hold. Spend as much time. Guys, stop putting full stops in the chat, please. Um, great control, Yash. Well done. I'll give you an alternative for frog stands this time around as well, guys. Let's see, Lexi's gone for reverse plank. I like that too. See, if you want to make this harder, try and go into star plank as you rotate. So reach out to the side, then raise your leg, bring it down, and then end the rotation. See how you get on with that. Some of you are absolutely nailing it. Yeah, that's it, Robin. Good job. And three, two, one, stop. Okay, frog stand. Or you can do shoulder tap because you're still working on shoulder stability. It's about making your shoulders nice and strong. So three, two, one, go. So let's see. So shoulder taps, if you can't do frog stand or or if you can't do those because you've got sore shoulder, then do stretches like I told you last time. Oh, Car, I think that that's a, I love the background, but I think it's hideous. You could do you could do a lot better. <laughs> okay, twenty seconds left. So yeah, boy, remember Dari. If you find it useful, keep practicing it. And Spiderman press up. Let's see. Three, two, one. Call it there. Good job. Let's see. Lexi, I just lost my answer to your message. Three, two, one, Spider-Man press up. Pause and say, okay, like, tell you what, Lexi, have a go, and I'm going to watch you while you do it, just to see how it looks, okay? So don't worry about smashing out wraps if it hurts, but just show me how you're setting up. Okay. So when you say pulls on the side of your body, do you mean like here? Okay. In a bad way, or do you just feel it there? Like like bad or just kind of all right. That's fine. Let's carry on if you think you get it's gonna help you get stronger. I'll coach you guys in a bit on the next part of it. Okay, cool. So remember you're going from Superman position. And we'll have a look at the camera, guys, because there's some great examples of the work going on as well. Superman position here. One hand and one foot forward. Do a press up like you would normally. And then go back, relax. Okay, give you a bit longer rest on this one. Remember, if you want to make it harder, you can double up. So if I find me, oof. Hands and feet on the floor. When I'm bringing my foot forward, I'm lining it up with my other knee. So from here, foot forward a little bit, a Spider-Man stretch would be like that really big, but it's way less. Lie flat on the floor, push yourself up, 
if you want, just keep your hands side to by side by side and just practice the leg bit. So basically you're working on shoulder stability and hip mobility, as well as like pushing strength and core strength. Okay, three, two, one, you're back. Well, actually you're back to reverse crunch. So everyone lying your back. So we'll start on time. Uh, three, two, one, go, reverse crunch. Should the foot on the back be on the floor? No, um, they can be in there if you want it to be harder like a single leg one, but no, they can both be on the floor. It's too hard. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'd say so. If, you're if your hips are mobile enough, you could do it on your knees. Or just do incline push-ups so your hands are higher up off the floor. Does it take some of the pressure off your elbows? So, yeah. 20 seconds, but I'm gonna message you just so you know I was talk who I'm talking to. Sorry about spelling mistakes, I'm rushing. Five seconds and stop. Then rotation plank or hollow hold lying on your back. Three, two, one. Go. Remember, you can always mix it up. So if you think you're starting to get really tired and need to do something different, you can use the alternatives as well. Just remember the incline is the one where your body's like this, not the other way. That's the harder one. This one helps your elbows and joints. Okay, halfway through. Remember, try and do star plank if you can at the end of the rotation. <laughs> Is that because she's picking the hard options or because she's getting in your way? She's getting in my way. <laughs> so, out, remember, foot up. Try and keep the same tempo. Make sure that your foot doesn't stick out further than your shoulder. Okay, if your wrist hurts, do hollow hold instead. Relax, we're done with that anyway. But if you've got sore wrists, do the hollow hold because you're lying on your back. Frog stands or lat and chest stretches. Three, two, one, go. Let's see. Other option for that, what I say, shoulder taps. But again, if your wrist hurts, then just do the stretches. Because I still think it's going to be helpful for you guys in terms of recovery. Okay, let's see other variations on the movement. If you can lift your feet up. So if you're trying to build up. Okay, so if I put my feet on the sofa here. This helps you start building up into more of a straight arm position. But you're more likely to tip forward. So keep one foot on the sofa if you have to and more builds your ability to balance. Serena, very impressive. Three, two, one, stop. Remember, it's quite a good one. It's quite a good skill to start working on, but only if you feel comfortable doing it alone and you start off with three seconds at a time. So you go one, two, three, relax. Try another three. Okay. Um, then Spider-Man press-ups, three, two, one, go. So remember, start flat on the floor if you have to. Okay, Sophia, excellent. And then if you want to, put one hand in front of the other one. So if you look at my hands on the camera, put them back. So that they're normally, try the push-up with your hands like this. So one hand just slightly further forward in front of the other one. Let's see.
Yeah, we should do this exercise. Okay, then do leg lowers instead. You can't do the press ups. Okay, that's fine. Sometimes if you have injured yourself, relax. Just so guys, there's people that are messaging me saying they've done the stretches quite a few times. But that's if you feel like you're too sore to do the exercises and you're sure that it's not just that you're tired from training very, very hard. It takes more than a couple of little stretches to help you recover. Um, so don't feel bad or like you should be doing another exercise. Because even if I give you a core exercise because you've hurt your shoulder, your body still needs all that energy to help you recover. So doing more work isn't necessarily going to help you get back to where you were. So it's good just to take a pause, wait a few days, and then come back to us. Okay. Okay. Next part of the session. So we've got divers, wall walks, and rear foot squats or foam rolling. So stretching if you can't do the rear foot elevated squat. So that's the one where your foot is up behind you, going up and down slowly. Or divers, remember divers have as much support as you need. If you can, try and go into an airplane. So diver, airplane turn to the side, and then back up. Okay, enjoy your dinner. Everyone get ready, stand up. Gentlemen, should be okay for knees because it'll help with your hip and your hamstring mobility. And it'll help you walk on being a bit more coordinated and stable. So it's almost like a core exercise depending on how strong you are. Make sure you're not doing it on a stability ball or anything because you'll need a stable surface. Three, two, one, go. If you can't hear, look at the camera because some of you can, some of you can't. There's not a lot I can do about it from this end, unfortunately. Okay, nice. Remember, you don't have to do airplane with this one, guys. You can pick and choose and then just try and do them both together. So Scarlet, fantastic. Even harder, if you can do the airplane in Streamline, that's amazing. Oh, just gotta stick the landing. Okay, switch sides. So you're gonna do divers on the other leg now. Okay, I'm really pleased to see some of you nailing these because you've worked so hard on trying to build up this skill. It really shows how much you can concentrate while you're exercising. Okay, just remember you don't have to go all the way to the floor. So a couple of seconds left, just stop in that T position like this, relax. So Veronica, you only have to go to like this, not all the way down. Okay. Uh, wall walks. So this is gonna be an interesting one. So feet up or on a door. If you can't do wall walks, just do incline press ups. So your hands will be up off the floor. Three, two, one, go. If your shoulder hurts, just do flutter kicks. If you are unsure, you can do planks as well. You don't have to walk yourself completely upside down. So. I mean, you can start with that. Hold yourself in position. If you feel good about it. Walk upside down. Okay, make sure you are supervised and you've got padding if you need it. Incline press up. So yes, I can. Just a normal push up, but with your hands up high off the floor. So if this is a normal push up, That's incline. Three, two, one, relax. So you can use a counter. You can use a door if you really have to. 
So the more upright you are, the easier it becomes. Okay, rear foot squat or foam rolling and quad stretching. Three, two, one, go. On there, it's okay for my knee. Doesn't go all the way to the floor. That's completely fine. Yeah, perfect. Ideally, the surface won't be higher than your knee. So, got my catch behind me. Look, my foot is about the same height as my knee. Depending on how flexible you are, you can make it a little higher. If not, it's better that you don't go all the way down. Because if it's too high up, you'll just start to arch your back. Switch legs. The stop, switch over. Okay, remember, if you find it too easy, go really slow down and really slow up. If there's someone else in the room with you, compete with them. So you can go down the slowest and then come up the slowest as well. A couple of seconds. Or just focus on rolling, because rolling is going to help you more than extra core work. Three, two, one, stop. Because it will give you, it'll actually give you an easy chance to recover. Back to the top then, divers. Ready in three, two, one, go. Oh, my laptop's gonna crash. Aha, saved it. Okay, remember, if you want extra stability, put your foot on the sofa. Or hold on to it, hold on to it with your hands, switch legs. So if you've got a bench behind you, that'll work as well. Unless you're happy you've got enough padding. Okay, Sophia, great combination of uh, divers and airplanes there. Well done. Molly, same for you. Fantastic T-shape. Okay, good job, Ophelia. Keep trying. Good, Dylan, make sure you really push your foot towards the window behind you. Okay, and if you can, guys, stick on one leg. If you can't, then switch between. Relax. Okay, wall walk or incline push up. Three, two, one, go. Let's see. Four point five. Okay. Again, I apologize for a uh, mental amount of spelling mistakes. I'm trying to keep it on the camera, especially for this one. Okay, remember you're walking up and down if you can. So you're not just holding, can I stay in the handstand? Um, it depends on why you don't want to do the walks. Uh, okay, remember if you're doing inclines, your elbows still have to point down towards your feet. So you're still doing the same thing with your arms. It helps build up your normal push ups. So have a look at your elbows. Let's see, Charlotte, if you can, try and get your elbows to point down towards your feet. So, like I said, doing this. Bingo. Okay, relax. On the next round, Charlotte, just walk your feet. Yeah, perfect. No, you've got it there. Nice. Right. Into. Rear foot elevated squat. Ready to go in three, two, one, go. Or you're doing foam rolling. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, if, remember, if you don't have a wall to do wall walks, then do incline push-ups. Yeah, that's completely fine. Um, okay, remember, if it's getting too easy, go down slow, go up slow. Or pair it with a jump. So go down slow and then Jump up so your foot pops off the floor. 
plug a bag. Let's see, Rob, we've chatted about why you're doing those. Still, it's oh, <laughs> you okay? Don't distract you. Sorry. Okay, stop. Switch legs. So onto the other leg. Three, two, one, go. So try and time yourself. See how slow you can go down. Like one, two, three, up, two, three. Try and get your back knee to the floor so that you start working on having nice flexible hips as well. And then make sure your knee points at the camera. Good. Halfway there. If you really, really want to, you can stop and just do maybe three on one leg and then three on the other if it makes it easier. Okay. Looking good, Scarlett. Don't stop now. You've got the 15 seconds left on this. All right. You can always stop and do stretching and rolling if you think it will help you more. Oh, I got that question in just in time. Okay. Two, one. Relax. Right. Okay, back to the start then. Make sure you're taking drinks. Which screen am I on? Hang on. Me. Everyone ready? One more run through, and then we're done for the day. So go divers. Remember, divers should be okay. Um, even if you've got a sore knee. Three, two, one, go. Or just do RDLs. So if you prefer, hand on the sofa. Try and hold that position so it's more of a hamstring stretch. So you're not going to bend your knee. You can get to the bottom with help. Start on a fine streamline. Okay. So yeah, don't worry about streamline until you got that bit right. So slow. Okay, switch sides. Okay, if you're still struggling, copy me. So holding onto the wall. Go down slowly, push, like kick your foot backwards. So you're trying to make a nice straight line from my head to my heel. Like that. Kick your foot back. But only if you've got something to hold on to. Last few seconds and stop. Okay, wall walks or incline push-ups. So hands up, your body will look like this. Normal push-up, your body's like here. Incline that way. Three. Two, one, go. I'm trying to think of other alternatives. Some of you are doing a super job on these. Remember, if you want to hold off on doing these, wait till you've got someone with you or make sure that you've got enough cushioning in case you do have to fall over and stay safe. Otherwise, do holds. So get yourself up the wall, wait at a bit of incline for like 10 seconds, come back down and just start building it up gradually. You've got 15 seconds left. Remember, incline push-ups are hands up on the sofa, not your feet, because feet up are much harder. Okay, stop there. Last round of squats and mobility. So rear for elevated squat. And if you're struggling, do three or four on one leg and then switch over. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, maybe you've managed two rounds already and you just want to do the rolling now, that's fine.
Okay, if you're at the point where you don't quite feel a lot going on, so look around. Might be better just to focus on going super slow. So the slower you do it, the more work you're going to get done. A few of you can kind of go up and down with really good technique. Or hug something. So like hold your swimming bag, hold a couple of books, try and hold them over your head. Okay, if you find it tricky, okay, sit there, relax. If you're finding it a bit harder than you think you should, watch me on this next round. Okay, yeah, don't worry about being late because of school stuff, that's completely fine. Three, two, one, let's go. So trying to figure out your setup. You want your foot to be under your knee. So if your foot's too close to your body, you'll start to fall over and feel a bit unstable. So make sure your heel is right underneath your knee because that way you won't have to worry about how flexible your ankles are and the whole movement just becomes a little bit simpler. So if you think you're getting to the bottom, but you're not quite at the floor yet. So let's see. Let's see, there's a couple of you. 15 seconds left. Okay, so if you have great foot position. Um, Ayla potentially. Well, no, it's Brennan. Brennan, if you move your foot forward a bit more, then it should be a bit easier. Yeah, have a go with that. Better? Okay, relax there. Good job, guys. So shoot off, follow your stretches if you need to. Make sure you stick with the sheets. If they're not doing enough, then message me and I can help you with some more specific stuff. If you need to stick around and chat about injuries, so I've spoken to one or two of you already, but feel free to hang around. Everyone else, we're gonna do some, where are we gonna start? Let's start with hips. Spent a lot of time thinking about hips today. See you later guys. So, take a knee. And try and make as big a gap between your hip and your back knee as you can. So three, two, one, go. If you want, you can put your hand on the floor. So it's a bit like the Spider Man stretch we did at the start of the session. Good. You're welcome, Charlotte. Catch you later. So here, hand forward. But try and lead with your hip. So it's almost like someone's pushing you from the side of your hip rather than just sticking your belly button forward. A bit less, a bit more obvious if I'm not wearing two, three layers. Okay, switch sides. Other leg. If you want to get a, if you got to, if you want to give me some time to think about an answer, you can type it in the chat now. That's not an issue. So other side, make sure you push your hip as far forward as you can. Okay, super welcome, Holly. Catch you later. Okay, relax. Good work on the hips. Next, we'll go hamstrings. So everyone, lie on your back. Go for a straight leg raise. Three, two, one, go. So this one, this might be a bit different depending on where you're tight. So you can do the one we normally do with your leg bent and straighten it. Okay, you are so welcome. Uh, Danny, have a good bump. Okay, or you can try and go straight leg like that. So it might affect the way you feel it, whether it's behind your knee here or higher up towards your hip. Okay. If you have a band, so actually 
if you're doing it lying on your back, try not to hug the back of your knee because if you hug the back of your knee, then it helps with the it helps take the stretch away and it won't improve your flexibility. So try and aim your heel towards the ceiling. Switch sides. So imagine you're like there's a magnet in your heel and it's pulling your foot up. And the longer you hold it for, the more impact it will have. Relax there. Right, hamstrings done. Let's see, quads. Foam roll them if you want, or copy my stretch. I'm gonna try and mix it up a little bit. It's a hard one to mix up though, because you have the, you just have to flex your knee. That's all you can do with it, really. Okay, three, two, one, go. So stand up, grab your ankle. This is more about tips. When you're stretching your quads, try and keep your stomach tight like you're doing planks. So grab your ankle, keep your stomach tight. So if you arch your back like this, it takes all the stretch away from here and it goes up through your belly. If you keep that tight, like if you were doing a proper plank, that's organized. Your hips don't arch like Donald Duck's butt. Okay, switch legs. And then same with the hip stretch. If you try and imagine pushing your hips forward, that'll help you a bit more. If you're foam rolling, remember, bend your knee. Yeah, let it, your foot drop side to side. And try and do it on one leg at all. Sweet. Cheers, man. So you're on the second leg now doing quad stretch. Okay, Luke, you're mega welcome, dude. I'm just working my way through your message there. Well, you're the one that keeps showing up. So it's you doing all the work, not me. I still appreciate you being here and doing the best you can. Like I said, lockdown's been going on so long now. Um, but hopefully we'll get some... Oh, there was an update at five o'clock, wasn't there? Yeah, go and check with your parents because there was a news conference at five o'clock. They might have said something good. Okay, stop there. And then we'll go last to finish off. In three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, hang on. It's a level X thing. Okay. The so swimming one apparently announced that if you want a medal in the pilot of level X, then they're going to recognize that now. Let's go. On. <clears throat> okay. Everyone's looking really good while they do this. Like solid back positions, you've all done really well to learn them. If you're doing the head push through one, which I love. Make sure your knees are behind your hips. So let's see. Sophia, if you move your feet a bit further back. I need more light. So instead of being like this, look at me on the camera quickly. So you've, you want to say, yeah, that's it. Perfect. It just gives you a bit more room to push with. If you need more, you can go even further back with your knees. Only if you want. Okay, excellent. Relax there, guys. Good stuff. Okay, Pranas, your brother did an amazing job. He had a he had a good uh, a good role model to work with today. So congrats to you both. We'll see you tomorrow. Freddie, have a good night. Hannah, great job as always. Who else haven't I really spoken to today? But no news is good news, guys. If I've got little to say, it's because you're doing so such a good job. But we appreciate you showing up. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.